Restrictions are easing here in Indiana and across the country. The nationwide unemployment rate is still the highest it's been since the Great Depression. So for many, paying rent is a struggle now. Jessica Hayes spoke with an attorney about what renters need to know, and she joins us now with what to do if you can't pay because coronavirus forced you out of work. Morning, Jess. Lindy, good morning to you. And this could be the first month some Hoosiers can't pay rent. For others, it could be the second month they're unable to pay. Now, I talked to an attorney. He said, first and foremost, you do have to pay your rent. But there are a couple important things you want to keep in mind. First, a landlord cannot force you from your home. They can't show up and make you leave. Only a judge's order can do that. So if you're facing eviction, thinking you have no options, don't go this alone. Call an attorney. We've got affordable resources for you in just a minute. You also need to know because of coronavirus, tenant rights have changed. Again, you have to pay your rent, but Governor Holcomb put a pause on evictions until July 1st. So you have time to get an attorney, get your documentation together, your rent history. Have you always paid on time or have you had issues in the past? Have you made a good faith effort to talk with your landlord now or to try and pay a portion of your rent? And this is important. Has your landlord kept their end of the rental agreement, keeping your property up to code, for example? A lot of times, you know, leases are written very one-sided for the landlord and they have a provision that says if, if, uh, if something unexpected happens that affects the landlord's ability to perform the lease, that some of their obligations might be suspended. And, and courts may turn that around and use it to benefit tenants. He said you don't want an eviction filed against you. That's a public record that will show up for future potential landlords to see. Okay, so here are three legal aid organizations in Indianapolis that can help you. The Indianapolis Legal Aid Society, who you just heard from, Indiana Legal Services, and the Neighborhood Christian Legal Clinic. These are income-based. They don't charge traditional attorney's fees. We've got the contacts for all of those posted right now for you. Just head to fox59.com. Live on the Northwest Side, I'm Jessica Hayes, Fox 59.